Hello, in this video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to set up your environment on a Windows machine to be able to run PHP from anywhere. Um, there are two ways of doing this. Uh, so I'm going to install the PHP by itself without the web server like uh, ZAMP or MAMP or WAMP, uh, just the PHP, and then uh, I'll show you how to do it with the ZAMP later on too. So let's go ahead and uh, open a browser. Uh, look for... Uh, Download PHP. I go to PHP download, uh, php.net downloads. Uh, uh, you see the Windows download here. The latest version is 7.4.10 at the time that I'm downloading this. I uh, grab a zip file. I download it into my machine. And uh, basically what happened is we have to remember that PHP uh, has a bunch of files including the interpreter which allows us to run PHP file in our machine. So it's not an installation, it's more of placing the files in the right place and call them whenever we need them. So uh, while we are waiting for this file, let me just go ahead to the folder. One more time. Okay. So I'm going to extract the file because the one I downloaded is a zip file. Extract. I'll put this one on pause so I come back when it's completed. Almost done. Okay. So if I look inside the folder, I see all the related files to PHP. The php.exe is the interpreter, is the one that we use to uh, run PHP. I'm going to open the command line by typing cmd in the search box. Now I'll go ahead, in order to see what is the version of PHP installed in our machine, we have to say php-v or version, whichever you prefer. At this moment, it does not know PHP because PHP is just isolated into one folder is not known to the other folders in this machine. So what I'm going to do is this, I just simply go ahead and cd to the directory that I have installed the PHP. Just go back here, I do cd, and simply I go here. Now if I run the previous command, which is php-version, it simply tells me the version is 7.4.10. Remember, I'm inside the folder php.exe is there too. Now, if I want to run PHP from anywhere in this machine, I have to specify this path in uh, Windows environment path. So I'll go ahead and I look for environment, uh, system environment variable, and you will have an option, edit system environment variable. Let's go ahead. Right here it says environment variable, just click on that one, go to the second panel, system variables, look for the path, go ahead and add new, right? Or simply you can go ahead and say edit. Now I'll go here, I add a new one, I paste, I paste the, uh, the code that I had, if you remember, the, the path that I had. I save this, okay, okay. Now, one thing you have to remember, if you have an application, you're open to run the uh, any of the PHP, uh, in this case, or any of the variable in the environment variable, you need to close the uh, application and reopen it. So I'm going to close the command line, open it one more time. And if you look at this, I am in the different folder, right? Uh, I'm not talking Ooh. prison, sorry, I typed a uh, Linux message. So I'll go ahead and type php dash v and here you go since i have added the path to the php interpreter in system environment variable i can run php from anywhere the same thing you can do with any other software that you have so if you're installing zamp for instance uh, zamp inside the zamp folder has a, a folder called php let me see if i have mine here so if i go to c drive you can see I have ZAMP, right? Inside this, I have a folder called PHP, and basically PHP interpreter is right here. The only thing you have to add into the environment path is the path to this PHP folder. That way you can run the PHP from anywhere, right? 
Uh, the other thing I want to talk about PHP is PHP has its own uh, server, a lightweight server. If I want to run that server, I can simply go ahead and say PHP dash uppercase S localhost colon, and you have to specify a port. We know the default port is port 80. Uh, it might be reserved by some other application you are using in your machine, like Skype. So instead of 80, you can simply say 800 or the 8080 or any combination like that. Doing this is going to run the server for you. So simply, if you go to localhost 800, you can uh, execute the PHP on a server, a web server, right? Just keep in mind, you're gonna, you have to be in the same folder uh, that you have your PHP file when you go through the browser. I hope you enjoyed the video. It was a quick uh, video about uh, how to run PHP code from anywhere. Thank you for watching and have a good day.